Hi there guys and welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to explain to you guys how you can get access to your client's ads manager and business manager. So there's a few important things to note before we actually get started. Uh, one is your personal profile, your business manager and your ad accounts. Okay, so these are three separate things. You also have a, a business page if you will. Uh, which we use to run the ads but in this scenario it's not actually uh, relevant or important so we have your personal profile which is what you use to log in to facebook so if you go to facebook.com and you're logged in to your facebook profile that is your personal profile now if you go to business.facebook.com you'll get your business manager so your business manager is what you use to connect to other business managers or if you run ads for yourself that is where you find your ad account, which we have here. So each business manager can create up to five ad accounts. I'll just quickly write them out here. There we go. And above your business manager is obviously your personal profile. And then below your business manager, you have your five ad accounts. So this is your own structure. Very important to note, you do not use your own ad accounts or your own business manager to run ads for your clients. You actually get access to their assets through either partner access with your business manager or admin access with your personal profile. So this is your ecosystem. And like I said, attached to this is also your business page if you wanna run ads yourself. Um, and then you have basically, let's see if we can quickly duplicate that over. Boom, there we go. So this is our clients business manager, Just zoom out here. So obviously your client has a personal profile in which you know, they log into their Facebook, etc. And now basically what we do is we get access to their assets. So what we can do, if we have our own business manager created, which obviously if you're an agency, I recommend, you can then request partner access to their business manager. What will then happen is they get an invite and they basically say, you know, do you want to give this business manager access to your assets? Now, the upside to this is that if anything were to happen to this business manager, you're not attached to it. So let's say uh, this ad account goes down and because of that, the business manager goes down as well. This will basically mean that their ecosystem is falling apart. All you need to do in this situation is just cut ties with that business manager and nothing happens to you. The downside to all of this is that when they receive that invite, they can decide what they give you access to. In more situations than not, they will not be familiar with all of this and they will not give you the exact access that you need. Because when you get access to your client's accounts, you need access to a lot of things. You need access to the ad account to run the ads. You need access to the business page to run the ads on. Also access the Instagram page, which is usually connected to that business page. You need to access to the domain. You need to have uh, the billing set up to that ad account and so on and so forth. There are a lot of things that need uh, access. Now, what? Now another thing we can do here is actually get our personal profile to get access to the business manager as an admin. The downside to this is that in the situation where something does happen, so their ad account goes down and the business manager goes down, there's a big likelihood that your personal profile will get infected, is what they like to call it, but that you will basically have, you will experience the issues because of that. Okay, so the most convenient way for us, but the more risky way for us is to get admin access with your personal profile. The less risky way, but the less convenient way is to get um, partner access through the business manager. The way I like to do it is both. So what I'll do is I will give my clients the email that I log into Facebook with, and then I'll say, add me, so add this email address as an admin to your business manager. So I'll basically go down this route, yeah? So admin access to their business manager. What I'll then do, because I'm an admin, is I'll, give my, I'll, I'll request partner access through my own business manager. And because I'm an admin, I will get an invite you know, of their business manager and then I can give myself access to everything. And then I can cut ties with uh, my original business manager. So personal profile, I'm in access first. Then I am an admin of this business manager. I can then invite 
my own business manager and say, okay, I want to give this new business manager access to all of this and the business manager, uh, the business profile. And then once this is done, I cut ties with my personal profile so that I have access to everything I need in the most protective way possible. So what does this look like? If we go into the business manager, so this is, I am now the client basically, right? So what the client needs to do is in their business manager, go to business settings, which if they click on tools here, go to business settings, they'll basically get something that looks like this. Go to people on the left-hand side, click on users, add user, and then fill out the email address here. Click on admin access. This is the, the important part. So admin access, click on next, and then they don't even need to select everything because once you have admin access, you can allocate all of those assets to yourself anyway. So then as you can see here, so in this case, me, Joshua Daniel George has access to the More Life Business Manager. I've got access to the pages, the ad accounts, the catalogs, the apps, and the pixels, um, which I can basically access and allocate myself uh, access to. So once you're admin in the Business Manager, you can click on Add Assets, and then you can basically just go in to all of the assets and then select the things that you want access to. So this is only possible when you are an admin of the Business Manager. So in this case, if I want access to the page, I can select the page, click on Facebook access, and then save changes. In this case, I already had it, so not a lot of changes have been made. So once all of this is done, we can go to Partner, Add, and then as a client, they can give a partner access to your assets. If you want to do it yourself, then you ask a partner to share their assets. In both cases, we work with a business manager ID. How do we find that? On the left-hand side, go to Business Info, and then this is where you can find your business manager ID. So if I want to request assets from the business manager, I need their business manager ID and vice versa. If they want to give their assets uh, to me so, so that I have access to it, then they need my business manager ID, okay? So that is how we do it. Now, in terms of making sure the account is set up correctly and that you are compliant with iOS 14, there are a few things that your client needs to do. Number one, again, business info. We need to make sure that all the details here are filled out and that the business verification status is verified. Now, quick side note to this, it's becoming less and less important, I've noticed. And there are even some newer business managers right now that don't even have the ability to verify the business manager. Now, if we click on view details here, as we can see, I am verified. In this case, um, you know, the business manager here is verified. And if for you, if you have an older business manager, you'll have a gray button or a blue button, depending on whether or not the verification status is available for you. But some new business managers only have the two, basically, you know, the two bubbles here and no third bubble. So you can't even verify the business manager. In that case, just ignore it and just move on. Okay, but if you do have all of this, then you need to make sure that you verify the business manager so that you, your Facebook basically knows, okay, this is a real business. Second thing we need to do, we go to brand safety and domains and we need to verify the domain so that Facebook knows, okay, this is where we are sending traffic to. It's a legitimate website, and this is basically you know, where the paid traffic from the ads uh, are going to, and it's all complying with Facebook's policies. How do we verify the domain? We click on add, and then create a new domain. We add the root domain here, so not www.google.com, but google.com, if that makes sense. Of course, not Google, but your actual Shopify store. Once we do this, we'll get three options and basically just walk through the steps. It's very easy, just walk through the steps. I usually go for add an ATXT file in the DNS settings of the website. You do it once and then it's set and forget. So once you've done it, you never have to do it again unless you, of course you get a new business manager. So we need to make sure that the website is verified, that our um, business manager is verified and of course, that our personal profile is also verified as well. I do not mean the blue tick, I mean that you have uploaded your passport or ID to Facebook so that you have a verified identity. If you do not do this, then you will get into trouble later down the line. And when I say trouble, I basically mean it's gonna be more and more difficult to keep your account alive, to keep your ads up and running, because Facebook keep taking you down for suspicious activity and then you'll need to upload your identity again. Okay, so those three things are what we need to do. And then of course, once we've done all that, we can then go to the events manager. So all tools and then events manager here. 
we can select the pixel and we can select what events we want to prioritize. So with iOS 14, we can only have a few events that we want to prioritize above all else. Prior to this, we could basically use as many events as possible. Now, post iOS 14, if someone opts in to track them, it's eight events that we can prioritize. If someone opts out of tracking, it's one event. And there's also different attribution windows, which I will not be getting into on this um, in this video. But basically, if you go to data sources, you'll have all of your pixels here. So I'll just select the correct pixel in this case. Then we go to aggregated event measurement, configure web events, select the domain, and this is where we prioritize the events that we want to prioritize. So for e-commerce, obviously that is going to be purchase. If you're in the info product or lead generation space, this will probably be lead or complete registration or anything like that. So once you've set all of that up, you basically have access to your client's business manager, access to your client's ad accounts and your client's business manager and ad accounts are compliant with iOS 14 rules and regulations and you are basically good to go. Any questions, feel free to pop them in the comment section below. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.